As a guys post money on extreme fishing charters, heading out of our bay, Cape Town, in search of those big elephant tunas with uh, Dion van Avalt cooking some nice elephant tuna and sharing his um, secret recipe with us. And go and like uh, catchcook.com. Hope you guys enjoy. Welcome to Catch Cook. We're gonna do a, a signature dish on the tuna. Uh, it's invented by my daughter-in-law, so I'm stealing a bit of her recipe today. You cut your tuna pieces in about a one inch pieces, nice thick because we're going just to sear the tuna steaks. Take about olive oil, make sure that your sesame seed sticks to it. Pour olive oil, rub it in. Got to do both sides to make sure that it doesn't stick to the fry grid and that your sesame seeds stick to it. Put a bit of sesame seeds on both sides. And then you put a bit of salt and pepper to taste. No tuna braai works without a beer. Ice coat castle, compulsory for this. Especially in a day like today in Hot Bay, guys. 25 degrees. Your coals must be nice and hot. Um, your grill must be cold, so don't put it on too long before the time, otherwise your fish will get seared onto the, the grid. We're going to literally just sear it for two minutes on the side, depending on your thickness. As I said, we cut it approximately one inch. So we got two minutes on the one side, two minutes on the other side. Lift it to the spatula. You'll see it doesn't stick because of the olive oil. Two minutes onto the other side, and it will all be done. Okay, after two minutes on the side, we take the steak off and we're now going to cut it into slices and we're going to prepare the plate and we'll show you with the plate inside. And last but not least, don't forget your beer. We said we normally use a bit of balsamic. I normally go for the sticky balsamic, but this one we just got the normal one. Let's give it an extra bit of taste. And then for your rocket, put a bed of rocket down. Take a mango or three. Place that for the, the added flavor. And then one scoop of guacamole. All right, now we go for the steak. Now you'll see that the steak is in lines like this. So bring it and cut it down on the side. Let's cut it into nice thin pieces. And you'll see that it's completely medium ready throughout. Get placed on the plate for you. When you guys start with a, the tuna steak before, it's because room temperature, it doesn't come from the fridge. So take it out of the fridge about half an hour before the time, so the steak is room temperature. Otherwise the inside will still be ice cold, whereas the outside is just seared. It's already looking beautiful. And a sharp knife also helps, of course onion and you know, of course your pineapple all in equal mix and this will then give you your your pineapple salsa this then gets dished up on top of it to give your meal a bit of extra flavor and color and then for your final top off you use a bit of pomegranate and it just gets sprinkled around the plate has to sort of top it off and look like Jamie Oliver was in the kitchen. There we go. Bon appetit. All right, this is our secret yellow fin tuna recipe. If you want it, you got to speak to my daughter in law Lisa. Otherwise, you're not going to get it. Compulsory thing, either red wine, but a beer. It goes down exclusively with the soup. Cheers, guys. Enjoy.